Hey there, Jim Johnson for AccentHelp.com, and I want to talk about roticity. All right, so accents are usually subdivided into rhotic or non-rhotic. What rhotic means or roticity means is rness. Uh, is there basically an R sound that exists in there? Now, there's a whole bunch of different R symbols in the phonetic alphabet. The one that we're actually going to focus on is, is really this little diacritic right there that I'm doing a little bit of a simplified version of, which is called roticity. So you're adding roticity to this schwa sound so it becomes more like er, as in other, er, er, er. Now in some accents, when this rness gets dropped, other, that becomes a non-rhotic accent. When the R is on there, as in my own speech, that's called a rhotic accent. Other, er, er, er. Some people make the R's even harder, and some people make the R's go away completely. So a lot of southern accents in the States, for example, tend to have a slightly harder R that happens. A hard tongue bunching, the tongue pulling back and bunching up to make that R a little bit stronger. In general, another funky thing Americans tend to do is that we tend to take our R sounds in general, the various ones, and we tend to round them slightly. So we add a little bit of rounding to them red, which doesn't happen as much in many other cultures. Red. That rounding is more American. So when you drop the R, that's called non-rhotic. Most of America is rhotic, but when you get into certain parts of like New England, non-rhotic. When you get into parts of the South, it's mostly rhotic now, but there used to be much more non-rhotic. That southern kind of drop in your R kind of southern that doesn't exist very much anymore. That's non-rhotic. But you do still hear it in some places, like a lot in southern Louisiana, both in New Orleans, where you get those R's dropping there, and also when you get into the Cajun country dropping those R's. So those are non-rhotic accents that exist in the U.S. Also, African-American vernacular tends to be, in its stronger forms, a non-rhotic accent, where the R's drop. Now, we usually associate non-rhotic with England and rhotic with the US. But there are actually, in most British accents are actually non-rhotic, but like when you get into the, the accent of Hagrid down there in the West Country, far south and west in England, that becomes more of a rhotic accent there. That Devon accent that you might hear in a play like War Horse or in the movie War Horse, though they did it mostly non-rhotic in that. But that is a rhotic accent in England where we tend to think of it as non-rhotic. So, that's what we mean by the terms rhotic versus non-rhotic as a subdivision of accents. For more info on a variety of accents, check out AccentHelp.com.